Hello, dear friends. Welcome to another edition of uh, Spilling the Tea. Um, it's been a while since I've put one of these parish updates out. Spilling the Tea, of course, is just a silly name that I have uh, given these um, parish updates that I hope you find uh, valuable in learning a few things about what's going on um, around the parish. Um, I wanted to get one out last week, and um, I, I just lost track of time, and here I am now. Uh, the week is uh, grinding down again, and I, I haven't gotten it out yet, so I really want to get these out, and I want to do them uh, uh, regularly. In this edition of Spilling the Tea, I'm going to be uh, covering the following topics. Um, false emails and a false uh, Facebook account that's out there that I want to bring to your attention. I'm going to discuss mass times around the parish, um, communion teams, and uh, parking. I'm very thankful that our parish uh, continues to grow, and there are some concerns uh, with parking that I want to uh, address to you. So first, off the top, there is a Facebook account out there. So let me back up. Uh, I recently, a couple of months ago, deleted my personal Facebook account because I um, uh, someone else um, used my Facebook profile image and uh, used my name, um, and I assure you, it is not me. This person uh, friended a number of uh, my friends and uh, has engaged in conversations uh, with them, sometimes soliciting money, and sometimes it's as benign as, um, you know, how are you doing today kind of thing. Um, I've uh, put in complaints uh, to Facebook. Um, several of my friends, many of my friends, have uh, um, lodged complaints to Facebook, and each time uh, Facebook responds that um, this person who is using my name with my image is not violating community standards. I can assure you that is not me, um, and I have uh, deleted my my Facebook account. Uh, the parish still has a Facebook account, the parish of uh, Stella Maris, and we use that extensively. In fact, I would say it's the best, best place to go to, um, especially as we're approaching winter and storm season and all that kind of stuff, to find out um, if, there, if you're concerned about anything being cancelled around the parish. That's the best place to go to. But now I've already gotten ahead of myself. Um, there is a, uh, a Facebook profile out there called uh, Rob Elford, and it is a picture of me um, sitting uh, on the back of my boat with a, a 60 horsepower Yamaha engine. You can see it. I'm just sitting in a chair in the back of the boat. Um, this is not me. Don't accept friend request. Don't respond to any, um, any direct messages. It is not me. And sadly, uh, Facebook won't do anything about it. So I just wanted to mention that to you and to highlight that right off the bat. The second thing is um, there are email scams that go around, phishing and the like. Uh, I want to assure you that I am never going to email you to ask you for money. If there is any concern of any email communication that you have received from me or for that matter from anyone on the parish staff, call the office. Call me um, to verify that that is in fact us. With all of these scams going out there, I don't want anyone falling victim to them. So uh, um, thanks. Thanks for that. Um, next thing. You know, over the summer, our mass numbers have been um, ticking up. Uh, and we're now regularly at a level where we're going to add a Sunday morning Mass. So our Sunday morning Masses will now be 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. So um, uh, that will begin, by the way, on Sunday, October the 1st. So it's really, really exciting that we are adding Masses because of uh, Mass attendance. So uh, praise God, <laughs> you know, there's lots of such amazing stuff going on. Um, the next is communion teams. We have um, two special communion teams um, in our parish. One brings the Blessed Sacrament to all of the seniors' homes in our, in our parish. 
um, um, we need more volunteers for that team. Um, they they um, go into the three Melville um, Seniors Homes and Arbor Stone, so Melville Heights, Melville Gardens, and Melville Lodge, as well as Arbor Stone. Um, it's a fabulous ministry. It is a really, really important ministry. I'm honored to support it, but it needs more volunteers. So if you are interested in uh, volunteering for this ministry or learning more about it, uh, please contact uh, Teresa. Her email address is right here along the bottom, and um, she'd be happy to answer your questions. And uh, if you're interested in joining that ministry, uh, getting you all trained up. Okay, yeah, feel free to um, uh, contact Teresa. Uh, the second um, um, home communion team is the, the, the team that brings the Blessed Sacrament into private residences around our parish. It, again, is a really important ministry, and we're uh, really short on, on volunteers. I want to tell you how important this ministry is. I just want to give you one example uh, very, very briefly. Um, a woman who regularly receives the Blessed Sacrament in her home lives alone, um, and uh, she, um, she recently had a heart attack, and not knowing what to do, she actually uh, called the, 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 the team that uh, brings the Blessed Sacrament to her house. Um, they went over, and um, encouraged her to call a 911, um, and it was later determined that she was having a heart attack. So uh, beautiful um, uh, fruit that is coming out of that important ministry of bringing Jesus into the homes of people who are unable to make it out to our main altar um, to... Um, to gather with the assembly to celebrate the sacred mysteries. So it's a really important ministry. That's just one example of some of the um, uh, good things going on with that ministry. Um, the last point for this brief uh, edition of Spilling the Tea is uh, parking. Okay, so um, on the topic of parking, um, I want to situate, situate you here. Here's um, Here's the church, Herring Cove Road, and Williams Lake Road. In our parking lot, there is space for about 70 vehicles. Um, and um, along the St. Michael's Road here, St. Michael's Avenue, sorry, in front of the church, there are a few um, uh, spots for um, um, handicap parking spots right along here. Now, that's not nearly enough for the numbers that we get. So I want to bring to your attention that along St. Michael's Avenue, over on this side of the street, so that would be what the uh, the um, uh, western side of the street, southwestern side of the street, um, there is no parking alongside that street and I've heard that people have left Mass um, and have gone to the car and received parking tickets. So no parking along this side of St. Michael's Avenue. Uh, on this uh, northeastern side of St. Michael's Avenue, you can park along there. And also there is a city parking lot down here that has um, um, a, quite a number of parking spaces. And also, the medical clinic is not open on Sundays, and so there's a few spots along here. And we, uh, for those of us who are able-bodied, you know, healthy, healthy younger people, um, we could probably emphasize parking down here in the city spot, or over here, and then we just simply have to walk across Herring Cove or the uh, short walk up St. Michael's Avenue. Uh, people who really need to park in these handicapped spaces, of course, should use that. And uh, there's parking here. So I hope that um, helps uh, relieve some of the pressure on our parking lot, relieves uh, you of getting parking tickets along St. Michael's Avenue, 
And for those of us who are able-bodied, park down here or over on this side of uh, Herring Cove Road. I, uh, I hope that helps. That's about it for this edition of Spill No Tea. In fact, one small point. Uh, this coming Sunday, Sunday the 24th of September, don't tell anyone, but it's Father Al Ray's 18th anniversary of his ordination. So maybe you can extend uh, to him um, your best wishes and blessings uh, to Father Al Ray. He's uh, come halfway around the world to serve us um, and he's a He's a blessing to us. I look forward to working closely with him and for uh, all of you getting to know him. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.